So another key consideration in building a data lake is we continue to try to add capabilities to S3 that are really going to enhance what you can do with your data. So last year, the first step in this was we introduced S3 Select and Glacier Select, where essentially you can start to access your data in a way that's much more optimized for analytics and data lake style environments than just the traditional get object. And so essentially the motivation behind introducing this was if you think about a lot of analytic tools, it's about scanning large volumes of data to get specific parts of that data to actually um, execute on. Redshift Spectrum, um, which I'll talk about a little bit more, essentially is one of those scenarios where it's a data warehouse, a lot of data scans typically involved. Um, you would traditionally load that data into uh, Redshift, execute there, but with Spectrum you can now store data in S3 as tables and scan across those. So when people ran these type of jobs, they queried a bunch of data and then threw a lot of that data on the floor after they retrieved it from S3. So a lot of customers could only potentially use about 10% of the data that they would actually retrieve from S3 at the end of the day. And so essentially what S3 select and Glacier looked for was what if you could start to intelligently have the storage layer based on things like SQL expressions, do the scanning of the data and the filtering of data in the storage layer where the data lives and only return the results that are relevant to those SQL scans. So you could start to do things like from this object rather than do a get object, have a push down where you could issue a SQL statement saying select this object and then issue from this object essentially SQL um, conditionals where you know maybe you would say out of this object I only want the data that is going to be if it's demographic data you know a user that is um, from this IP address or a range of IP addresses push that down via SQL statements, S3 will perform that scan, only return the results that are actually needed. So if you think about that, that's very different. The storage is now intelligent. And so you can start to do things quicker, more cost effectively. A couple of examples, we had an SA that uh, went and for fun using Lambda, wrote a serverless map reduce function using S3 select and comparing that to what they would do without select. And essentially, for a given uh, function, they were able to do it 2x faster at a fifth of the cost. Um, another one is with EMR 5.18, which is relatively new. We now have a Presto connector for EMR that leverages S3 select, where it essentially will do predicate pushdown um, and use S3 select to pre-filter data. So now if you consider a job before, a job after, it can be as much as 5x faster at you know, essentially 2.5% the um, compute for a given process job, which means it's much more cost effective and much quicker.